Got a devil's haircut in my mind. Got a devil's haircut in my mind. Got a devil's haircut in my mind. Next. But you're having a, a good season so far. Um, how does it compare with last year, do you think, at this stage? Yeah, it's great, obviously, this year. Um, last year, we were only gelling together. We were, it, was, it was our fourth season together as a team and with a new manager, you know. So this year, it's, it's clicked from the start and, and we're delighted with that, you know. Many people were surprised, I suppose, at the impact that Dundalk made like so, so quickly. Uh, why is that, do you think? Um, Stephen Kenny, he, he's a great manager. He is, and he's a great man manager as well. You know, he, he knows how to get the best out of all his players, and I think he gelled us together really quick. Because I think a lot of people had us tip to get relegated that year, and we surprised everyone by finishing second. And we're just building a great foundation from there, and hopefully kick on this year. You know, I think all the players are extremely hungry. You know. Even in training, you would think that it was up for a cup, you know, like the, the way all the lads train and even off the pitch, the way they handle themselves in the gym and the way they, the way they eat, you know. I think everybody is trying to buy into the right way of doing things and it's great when, you, when you're seeing things like that happen, you know. Looking back from when you started football, you, you, you played with Crumlin United and you went over to Celtic at, at 15. What was that like? Yeah, it was great. Obviously, I got the opportunity to go to such a massive club at a young age. And I had to jump out with both hands, you know, and I loved my time over there. And, um, the coaches, everything about it was great. It was um, the people I lived with and it was just a great, a great introduction to football, you know, for me. Now, you moved on uh, on loan to, to Hibs. Um, you had a couple of sessions there. Of course, Pat Fenlon in your, in your second spell. Um, do you think he had a problem with Pat or do you think he, uh, he didn't fancy it or what was the issue? He got his own players in when he first came and I didn't fit the build and that, that was his own opinion. Um, a lot of other people have, have high opinions of me but he didn't so that's just football at the end of the day, you know. PFAI Young Player of the Year last year, you made the Premier Division Team of the Year as well, it wasn't bad. Yeah, it was great for me first year in the league, you know. And, that's what the hard work only really started after that, you know, because I knew straight away that I wanted to, to battle myself again and hopefully get the, the player of the year this year, you know, and that's what I've been doing. I've been walking, walking my socks off um, every single day. And to be fair, it's working so far. We've had a great start to the year. You're out of contract in November. Uh, if you're to go in the summer, Dundalk will get a fee for you. I mean, so that if they let you go, they might win the league. I know, yeah, that's, that's the thing, you know, but I just need to concentrate on my football. I think people can get caught up believing that they're going to get a move and, and the hype around it and it affects that performance, you know, but I need to just stay level-headed and concentrate on my own game and I just, I just need to, that's what I need to do, you know. And keep your hair on. Yeah, exactly, yeah, get a nice haircut and look my best. <laughs> it's great, thank you. Yeah, perfect, thanks very much. Yeah, Richie, I can tell you, we definitely prefer the 2014 look to the 2013 edition, but uh, <laughs> you're having another great season, and he, and he is. And one thing you were commenting on during that uh, VT Stewie was the physical conditioning of yeah. him. He, he's in great form, and his physical condition is great as well. Yeah, like, just watching him the other night, like, you know, full of energy, full of desire. And at the moment, I think he backs himself against anyone because he's, yeah. he's physically fit. He knows it. Um, it's something that Dundalk have really worked on, and he's really embraced it. And like I say, you know, you look at the goal he's gotten the other night, that's come from that level, where he, where he started and where he's ended up finishing, that, that, that world-class finish. And it's, like I say, fitness-wise, he's, he's at the top of this game. Yeah, Damien, he's had a, lots of experience through his career. He was mm. capped at various underage levels. He was over at Celtic. He was on loan at Hibs. He's had some good experience. And now he has established consistency, which helps mark yourself out as a good player, doesn't it? Some players need extra time to get that maturity. He's reaching his mid-20s now. And he needs it now, and he's got it. And he seems ready to prove it as well. So Tony mentioned there when he's out of contract, which I'm sure the Dundalk Football Club will be very happy about. <laughs> but uh, he's a very talented individual. I like Stuart. I'm very impressed with the, the physical conditioning of the Dundalk players. They are all very, very fit. And I, I watch the warmers particularly, and they're very impressive. So there's a lot of good things happening at Dundalk. Contrast that what we were saying earlier about Derry City. Well, they're in tune in Dundalk. If Derry can get back in tune, they too can rediscover that. But, but Richard Tell sums up the good days of Dundalk at the moment. Yeah, he's in great form and so too are Dundalk. And by the way, we also reckon that Tony O'Donoghue now needs a haircut, so he's next for the shop.